Just tip. Just it in. get I, in your I hole. Barely touched it. Get in your hole. <laughs> get in your hole. This is oh. originally for what? No, this is Hal. Okay, of the course. Super Nintendo. No, the Android that tried to kill Dave. Question mark. Hal nine thousand. Hal nine thousand. Yeah. I'm familiar. Uh, this is Hal's hole in one golf. And the show that you're listening to is Watson and James Don't Play. My name is James. And I'm the Mentat known as Watson. Oh, I didn't know you achieved that. You're, you're full on Mentat now, huh? It's taken 10,000 years. We must not make a computer in the image of a of man? Is that what they say? What do they say in the Dune, in the sh- Dune verse? Uh, close. Uh, it's basically, yeah, you shouldn't create a computer that resum- resembles the human mind. Didn't Duke Leto say something like, things just get weird, man. Just, just roll with it. So it doesn't take place in the actual timeline of of the the six books of Dune, but within the lore, there was what's called the Butlerian Jihad. <laughs> the butt. <laughs> and that takes place <laughs> thousands of years before the main narrative. Uh-huh. But everybody references it, and basically what it was is back in the day, people started to create computers that were smarter and smarter and smarter, and eventually it led to a revolt where a bunch of people were like, no more machines. No more, it won't have it. We shouldn't do it, so they created a rule thereafter. Shouldn't create a computer that, that was, you know, in the image of a person's brain. So Dune is like the sequel to The Matrix. So where Mentats fit into that is, yeah. they go, all right, we won't make a computer. But we will train human minds to form in ways that are, um, you know, unnatural, some would say. I want to point out real quick that I did amateur stroke play just now. That's oh. the options that I chose for how we play today. I don't think you're supposed to curse this early in a, in a YouTube video. <laughs> Which start, uh, we're going to name our guy Plimpkins. Plimpkins, I like Plimpkins. it. Um, so, yeah, Mentats are the result of thousands of years of training to become a human-like computer mind you know that's how they're able to do all their calculations same thing with like space skilled navigators and stuff they are bred into a program that allows them to do that with a bunch of spice you know yeah i do know at least now i do (laughs) yeah like do two do part two is coming out real soon all right can you tell i like how i go yeah i fucking do know okay i just there i said it how would they know how how would they possibly know how would they know no one's gonna read the book we were watching Young Sheldon the other night, which is a way better show than The Big Bang Theory. I feel attacked just by that segue. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. <laughs> but it's a Dune thing. He was reading Dune at, like, at a pizza parlor. Fuck off. I know. <laughs> They're like, they kind of plant things like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know they do. <laughs> shot, green in her hole. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> you want a shot? You want a, you want a hit? I'm going to need a shot if we're going for the hole. Straight for the hole. I guess we'll do shot. Yeah, give me a shot. Yeah, we'll go. To the right? A, this way? A little to the right. Yeah. The ball's there, sure. Give it about three-quarter power. Yeah. And forward. Go. Yeah. Boom. That was powerful. Fucking nailed it. Ooh, Fucking nailed it right into that shanked tree. It. Shanked it a little there. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? That's not a bad lie. You're not, you're yeah, not I on can, the fairway. I can work with that. You're close. Shot, green, or hole. Like a shot. You can make it on the green at this point, but half power, bro. Maybe go Maybe go all power? Half power. Half Ow, power. power. There's the ball. Eye on the ball. This is the stick. Oh, wait. Forward. Yeah. Half. Oh, shit. Hey. you on the fairway? We're on the fairway. I like it. We're playing golf in honor of Carl Weathers. He passed away as of this recording, maybe like last night, I think. Shut up, Happy. Don't feel bad about me. I got my hand back, see? Yeah, I was nine when that game came out. Or when that movie came <laughs> the out. Game came out. When this game came out and when that movie came out, right? Fucking, oh, that's perfect. Oh, it was, oh, God. It wasn't perfect, though. It didn't go far enough. Right? We were about nine. Yeah, about nine years old. I was born in 87, 96. Nine years old. Yep. And I think people who fall on that age range understand how much it shaped our uh, sense of humor. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Definitely gave me a, an appreciation of cutaways, because mm. there's two cutaways in the movie. <laughs> you know <laughs> where they just kind of lose track that that Gene Simmons tongue haunts my mind ah! I'm gonna hit this as hard as I can I was like wow how did I get Gene Simmons to do that it's a good thing I hit that as hard as I could hole hole right I guess take it to the hole hole wrong sport that's basketball <laughs> okay it now it's a topographic view <laughs> jeez that would have been good to know 
are all those grave sites that's like a, all, like all those the, the nearby I, yeah those are slope the, zoom i don't know man those are shrines to the fallen uh, I shouldn't have picked this at all. I'm never listening to you again. Yeah, what was that? What do you? Well, you don't know anything. Hole. Green. Show me the hole. Because you're on the green now. Show me your hole, please. You just did that. Yeah, but I did the other one, not hole. I did green, didn't I? No. I did hole. Yeah. Shit. I Shot. know because I was my suggestion. It was my like, idea. And you were like never listening, never listening again. <gasps> Are you kidding me? That's that, a cool animation, though. I like that. I mean, not bad, right? Yeah. Just tip. Just it in. get I, in your I hole. Barely touched it. Get in your hole. <laughs> get in your hole. If you don't hit green at least one time, I swear to God. All right, got it. Plumpkins eight. Um, um, four over. Shit. Shit. Oh God, we're gonna have to pay after. Like, we, if you do bad enough, they make you pay. I hate golf. Why are we doing this? Why? Because I love golf. Are you kidding me? Golf's the worst. Yeah, I know it's the worst. But Happy Gilmore is about golf. Yeah, it's not this is happening, about, it's all right? About, it's barely about golf. It's mostly about hockey. <laughs> <laughs> right. And how much cooler it is than golf. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a hockey movie with a Bob Barker cameo, right? Is I try to play games that I don't really have to pay attention to. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so sliced it. Yeah. OB. Yeah, you got it way out of bounds. Yeah, that's too bad. Try it again. And go. Try not to suck this time. Every now and then someone will say to me, play a lot of golf, and I'll go, nope. <laughs> and they will believe you. Yeah. That question happens more often than not. Yeah? Yeah. There was a guy today, he asked me about the origins of my last name, which I'm not sharing with anyone. But I thought that was weird that... So his na his first name was the same as my last name. And he goes, what's the origins of that? And I go, I don't know. <laughs> the Bible? I guess, I don't know. Yeah. But he, he was taken aback that I just said, I don't know. Yeah. Why, why would I know that? I think there's a, a switch that goes off in like your 50s where you just suddenly care about genealogy. Yeah. And me, I don't give a shit. If I cared about where I'd come from, I'd go find out. We can't play this. We got to play something else. I fucking told you. We gotta, all right. We'll be back. I can't do it. Plumpkins. Plumpkins are fired. <laughs> it's Mario. All right. Yeah, this is better. You got a, this has got to be better, right? You got a cursor in the little box up there. No, that's that's not the screen people can see, though. That's not the screen? No. You don't know. I do know, actually. You don't know. Should we play as these are the people that we have to peach? Straight peach? Or, yeah, I guess. Yeah, peach is Whatever. Fine. Yeah. Peach is good. All right. So I can't press left on the controller. Awesome. I guess we'll play the tournament. And the toad tournament. I like it. All right, so we're pl still playing golf, but it's a little more, you know... Yeah, it's softer golf. Yeah, much softer. Not as hard as the last one. That was one flat tree. <laughs> yeah. I like how they go, try and get it here. You sure? I like this already better. Yeah. And nailed it! Hell oh, this yeah. Is, this is much better. Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah! Yeah, that's a throwback. All right. Best drive. <laughs> it's the <laughs> only drive. We just started playing. It's got to be the best one. Fucking swing away. Ha! <laughs> like the wind-up. <laughs> what if she really sounded like that? <laughs> is that? Is that straight, Peach? Yeah, you can tell by the way she sounds. Nice on! Birdie putt! I'm way louder than you right now. Yeah, you really are. Sorry, I got to take it easy. I know you're excited, but that's just because this game is way more fun. Right. And putt. In. Now. Oh, yeah. And I got a birdie. And she danced. This is going a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having much more fun now. Mario's like, I'm here too. No, you're not. Who's Fly Guy up there on number, number two? Fly Guy? Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. On the leaderboard? I see the rainbow, the rainbow flag up there. That's all I see. Now it's raining. Sure, why not? Do they play golf in the rain? Uh, to an extent, I think it has to reach a certain certain threshold before they'll cancel. But yeah, I've seen like a light rain. What'd you do in honor of uh, Carl Weathers passing? Uh, whatever it was, it was disrespectful. I cut off a guy's hand. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Happy. Uh, I I in I in. contracted shit the alien bounty hunter known as the Predator. <laughs> okay. Do you think that was just a ploy from Carl to to? 
to kill the, to kill Dutch. You son of a bitch! To take his spot as leader of the mercenary gang. I think in the eighties it was okay to have a whole guy's character arc be his shaving process. <laughs> <laughs> so. I was really interested in shaving because of that movie. Yeah. I'm not joking. That movie was... Look, Fly Guy. Fly Guy. Oh, Fly Guy's fucking killing it. Sheik? I thought that said Shrek. Phil and Colin. <laughs> Phil and Colin? Nice. One, two. Um, now there was the one character from Predator. Yeah. And he would shave. Yeah. All the time. That's put, how he fucking relaxed. Put him up there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's, look at him go. That's how he chilled out. All right, he would just shave. Yeah, straight dry. And but movie, it wasn't that dry because he just sweating his dick off the whole movie, and right? The, and the movie would just check in with him, see where, <laughs> <laughs> see where he was at with that. <laughs> How's it going over there? Do you know that the so there's the one scene where he's really nervous. I did a perfect, a perfect, nice shot. Hey man, nice shot by filter. <laughs> Can't do that. We'll get, we'll get. Now we will get thrown in jail if I play that. Straight up. You can't do that on television. You can't do it. All right, you got this. All right, and whack it. Uphill. Get it in. Harder. I should have done harder. Harder. Should have done harder. You should have harder, better, should've faster, harder, stronger. Better, faster, stronger. Yep. So he's, he's like looking out for the predator, right? And he can feel his presence. Talking about shaving guy. And he presses really hard. And he snaps the razor, right? Mm -hmm. And you see like a blood mark on, on his face from right. where he pressed too hard. The way they did that effect, because I watched the special features, he they just had like, a, like had like a, <laughs> he didn't cut himself. They had a tube, because there was no, there's no metal in the razor. Right, right, right. All right. It looks badass, but it's not. But he's not in any danger. No. Uh, they had a little tube going up through there, and they no. just kind of squeezed a little bit. A lot of tubes to make fake blood, you know? More yeah. than you'd think. It's like a classic, like, magician-style trick, which is, you know, hiding the apparatus. Right. Tubes. It's all tubes. <laughs> it's all tubes. You're older than you said you were. Just like the internet. It's made of tubes. Oh, that's a, that's another thing I've been doing a lot of lately. Is I've been watching Futurama. I'm on... So there's four original seasons, right? I believe so, yes. So I think there's five. And let me explain my position here. Right. I know that I'm probably wrong. Yeah. It's just the way that Hulu lists them. And I'm not talking about the movies, all right? I'm just talking about the original series. It says I'm on season five. But I know it's still the original series because it hasn't got to the movies yet. So was season one cut in two? Was there like a like a season one and a season 1.5? Because I know that Hulu lists them as seasons, even though the season six or whatever is just a movie. I, I know that in my in my bones. But the way it is listed right now, it says there are five seasons of Futurama. Yes, you are correct. It is weird that was close uh i believe when i originally bought the dvds yeah yeah they came in volumes so it'd be like volume one volume two volume three but i think that's it there right. was only three volumes oh okay and it was broken up weirdly so what i think it comes down to on streaming is basically syndication packages like when comedy central was running them all the time and that's when the movies got made mr. They, mr watson we need to syndicate your package so and they said okay and he's like shit that's what needs to be done as long as i still get my royalties so that used to be the goal right for television shows they'd be like let's try to get 100 episodes because once you get 100 episodes you can sell it to syndication you're fucking in Right? And you're good. You get that sweet syndication money, uh -huh. and it's all good. Well, think about how long an old television episode season ran. It would be like 22 episodes or some shit like that. Right. So you'd essentially have to get to five seasons to get your 100 episodes. Okay. So I think that's what happened with like Futurama, with the way they would package it and stuff. As I think it, it reshuffled how they structured the seasons. But I'm not sure but I have noticed discrepancies before in how, how they're packaged, whether it be in volumes or seasons. It's good to know. I've always wondered that. So I right now I'm on season five of Futurama. That's the long and short of that. Should I get the box set, just the whole box set, now that it's all done? Of Futurama? I'm not counting the Hulu stuff they just put out. Okay, because I haven't seen any. It, it tried getting me to watch season 11 of Futurama, and I go, shit, I've been out of the loop. 
I don't know what's going on. I basically tapped out when they did a whole episode about cats. Yeah, the talking cats thing. And that's pretty late in the game. Honestly, if I'm being real, I wasn't watching it on a regular basis since the original run. I remember renting the movies on DVD. This is this is James freshly moved out of his parents' house. Sure. And I go down to the Crown Video and uh, looking for something to watch. You know, I don't have internet. Mm-hmm. I don't have a cell phone. All of this stuff was available. I just didn't have any money. You know? And they were pumping out the DVD sets. Yeah. So, so rental places would have them. Yep. That's where I saw... I went to... This is when Blockbuster was still open, showing my age a little bit here. Hell yeah. Right? I went to the front counter. I said, I'm looking for a movie, dog. Yeah, recommend me something. Get me something. He's like, do you like British comedy? Fucking love it. Do you like hardcore pornography? Yes, but... I. He took you behind a beaden curtain. <laughs> no, I went there myself. I knew what to get there. <laughs> you go back in that room and you go like, I know what I want. You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> you like gladiators, Billy? You ever been to a Turkish prison? <laughs> On the green! I'm nailing it. I'm not even joking. I'm doing okay. I'm proud of you. I'm still almost in last place, but that's because everyone else does way better than me. I think you're doing great. Typical. Shit! Why? You're good at that, I just though. said... I just, <laughs> just said I was doing good. You're good at that. He recommended me watch uh, Death at a Funeral. Me? Watch Death at a Funeral? Here? I am already in my pajamas. So I said, okay. And it was great. I liked it. I think it was... Was it Peter Serafinowicz in that movie, or was it the other British guy? I get him mixed up. They're just two tall white guys. Hugh, Gr- look- Hugh Grant? No, no. He was a, like a comedy boy. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. No. Uh, You'll have to think of it. Yeah. The, the other name escapes me. Tyrion. Who played Tyrion? I don't know. I've never seen the movie. No, Tyrion in Game of Thrones. Who played that? Who was the actor? What's the actor's name? I didn't watch Game of Thrones. He's, you know who I'm talking about. He played the the uh, the author and elf. I don't want to describe other parts about him because I feel like an asshole. Peter Dinklage. Thank you. That's all you had to describe was an actual role he played. I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so you know he was in Tiny Feet. Also, I, I think he was in uh, Tiptoes. Tiptoes, that's it. I don't know why I called him Tiny Feet. That, see, that's worse than anything <laughs> you, you were trying I'm, not to say. <laughs> Tiptoes. Whatever, man. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. He's got regular sized feet. Anyway, <laughs> shit. Oh, I sliced it. I sliced it hard. Oof. Oh, my embarrassment. Oh, my hubris. My arrogance. Oh. Yes. On the green. Anyway, he's in Death at the Funeral, too. He shows up as to mourn the guy's father who passed away. So not Hugh Grant. Not Hugh Grant. No, Peter Dinklage shows up to honor the main character's father. And they're like, what's this guy doing here? Do you know this guy? No one knows him, right? And pulls him off to the side and says, uh, your father and I were lovers. Ooh. And it blows the guy's mind. He didn't expect to find out that his dad was secretly gay sure. at the funeral. And, and then hijinks ensues. Hijinks. Hijinks. Jesus. You know? It gets wacky after that. Yeah, hilarious setup. Yep. You get it. Yeah, I get it. All right, cool. I'll probably not, I'll probably not watch it. It's great. I like it. It's a lot of fun. I can't remember any of these actors' names. I was going to describe someone else, but uh, I'm done. I don't want to describe anyone else at the risk of... Having you <laughs> at the risk of showing my hubris once more. Yeah. Don't show it. Don't put it away. Uh, what put else, it away. What else have you watched lately? I'm kind of burn out on X Files. That's kinda, true. We hit the wall. I with hit the X-Files. wall on X Files. Yeah. I got about halfway through season four of X Files, and I go. That's about where I got. I can't do this anymore. I was honestly trying to make it to uh, to where the movie, the first movie, fits in. Sure. Which I think is regular right after season four. I didn't quite make it that far. Right. But, you know, we were hitting it pretty hard, I think. I mean, I was playing I was playing Elden Ring in anticipation of the upcoming DLC that is never going to come out. Oof, this is going bad. No. And everyone else is too, which is fun because there are other people playing online. Yeah. They can get summoned to other worlds. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, while I was playing that... I would have X-Files playing in the background. Right, right. And even with that, even being occupied, 
I, I kept looking over and I go, they're just kind of doing the same bit now. And it does look. It starts to repeat itself. The same. The whole, like, it's very predictable, like, lighting, costumes, and stuff. It does kind of start to blur together after a while, one episode into another. Uh, I have switched gears, though. I'm going, I, I'm rewatching the original Twin Peaks run. Oh, nice. Because I'm like, oh, it's still a 90s cop show. <laughs> I re- you told me that the other night that you were going to rewatch uh, Twin Peaks, and I go, I remember it being blurry. Turns out I was incorrect. The show is not blurry, but well, and part of the been, show is blurry. It's been restored now, too. It does look better than ever. You know yeah. what I mean? It was not looking that good when it originally ran. So Twin Peaks ran for two seasons and a TV movie, right? Was it Fire Walk With Me was the name of the movie? It was not a TV movie. Oh, not a TV it was movie? It straight-up R-rated movie that got oh, I didn't you know, know that. just I th- savaged in the, in the press. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe that's why it didn't feel like it came out in theaters, because it just fucking, just fucking bombed. Yeah, I have, the, uh, I have the Criterion edition of Fire Walk With Me. It's yeah. gorgeous. I bet it is. Is it like just a nice clean case, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Blu-ray. You're like, of course it is. It's fucking great. It's fucking awesome. So anyway, I popped open the the gold box Twin Peaks. Popped open the cold one with Kyle McLaughlin. And it was great. It's just everything I remember. It's so uh, meditative and dreamy that I just, it puts me in a good space. So it is blurry. It's not blurry. Okay. Dreamy in logic, not in like fuzzy photography <laughs> not, not as in difficult like, to whoa, see get kyle mclaughlin in focus there no that's fine i don't remember any of the characters names but i remember things about characters well, there's special agent dale cooper yeah, obviously sure there is oof. who else do you want to know about he wears the 3d glasses dr jacoby okay i like that guy he seems okay he had been working with Laura Palmer. He was her doctor for a few months. Working with Laura Palmer or working? Look, in he's Laura a Laura. bit of a eccentric. We'll say that. He's an sure. eccentric. A bad doctor. Got it. <laughs> he's a poor medical professional. Laura didn't have Laura. <laughs> a good support system around her. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, There's just a lot of people that failed her in her life. I'm failing Peach right now. Get it, just tap it in. Which Just tap it tap. By the way, that's all the more reason to watch Fire Walk with me, because it is kind of the missing gap of what happened in Laura's life oh, okay. leading up to the murder that introduces the premise of the TV show. So if the TV show is about solving her murder and kind of working backwards as to what she was actually like through what people talk about, the movie shows like what was actually going on in her life, and it's more messed up than anything they could actually show on TV. Right. A lot of cocaine, a lot of drugs, and a lot of bad shit. Alcohol and demons and stuff. A lot of a lot of dudes that are soon gonna have white hair because of the horrible shit that they do. Well, that's yeah, that's a whole other part of it. Uh, anyway, I'm on episode four of the original run, which is just uh, it's like a it's like maybe my favorite episode. I've never seen the. Was it on Showtime when they brought the series back to kind of wrap it up? The 18-hour movie known as The Return. Okay. Yeah, I never saw that. It's fucking life-changing. I want to say it came out in 2017. I think so, yeah. Yeah. 2017 was a bad year for me. It was, there was a lot going on. Yeah. And I remember I tried to sit down because I was the show just came out on Showtime. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm going to watch this show because... I need something, you know? Right. And I just could not focus on it. And I just kind of missed it. And now I'm never going to have a Showtime subscription. So I, unless someone gives it to me, I'm never going to watch it. I mean, you can use mine. It's fine. Hell yeah. I have the add on. See what I did there? Paramount, I, I, Paramount Plus. I talked his ass into it. I said, give it to me. I always believe in spreading the good word of Twin Peaks. You gave me, I don't know if we talked about this or not, but you gave me access to your Criterion channel. Yeah, because I've been badgering you to watch Near Dark for months. I finally did. And I liked that whenever you gave me your username and password to Criterion, I logged in from my computer, and it just let me in. Yeah. It didn't, it, it didn't like, oh, we need to email, we got to email Watson and be like, did you sure? Criterion's like, no. If I'm, you gave someone your password, that's on you. You know, take some fucking responsibility. No, I'm, it's totally on me. I'm sure there's probably a two-step verification or something I could put on it. Uh, I don't think there is. I don't think Criterion gives a shit. I think it didn't just, ask me about it, so I'm not gonna. Right. I think Criterion's more like... They're chill. Right. Like, hey, someone's gonna watch it, hey, you know? Yeah. 
Someone logged into our shit and wants to watch our movies. I don't think they're in any hurry to crack down on password sharing. No. Although I did hear that Hulu is going to join Netflix in locking down them passwords. Damn it. But I'm using someone else's Hulu right now. Again, mine. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for some stuff. Look. I buy my own cereal. I buy my own toilet paper, but I don't pay for Hulu. Look, uh, I look at it like this. I'm a, I'm a grown-up, and my hobby is watching TV. So I budget my hobby accordingly, and I just have all the subscriptions. <laughs> right. Because I use them. You don't have cable anymore, but you have premium streaming. I have all the streaming. Whatever you were spending on cable before, you're now spending twice as much on streaming. Speaking of which, I got a notification today that Shudder has a new documentary about Dario Argento. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> it's an amazing service. Now, who did Near Dark? It was Catherine Bigelow, right? Catherine Bigelow. Yeah. Uh, she later won the Oscar for, what, Zero Dark Thirty? Um, That's she, right. That's where I've heard that name before. Okay. She directed fucking Point Break, which is great. Um, yeah. It holds she, up really well. She just gets better and better. Uh, basically, this is like her, I think, what, Near Dark's like her second movie, I think? I okay. think she did a smaller, even smaller budget movie. Then she got um, hooked up with Jim Cameron and networked with a bunch of his associates and stuff, too. And he went to the studio and was like, hey, she's look at her movie. It's really good. You right. should let her make another movie. And then she made Near Dark. And so you're like, oh, okay. And it's great. And it's a vampire western genre movie with Bill Paxton. Right. And fucking... Lance Hendrickson. Half the cast of Aliens, basically. <laughs> you're right. They're like, by the way, so you know, during your, during your downtime... You're gonna be working for Catherine. Honestly, you're gonna do my movie first in your like main time. Yeah, and then during your break time, you're gonna do another movie uh, because you have a bad union, and I think I could just work you forever. And it's a great movie. It's pretty good. It's such, you know, what it makes me miss. It make I know people say this all the time, but it makes me miss movies that are just self-contained stories. Yep. It has a very distinct beginning, middle. And it all wraps up nicely. You don't feel like you're ever going to need a prequel, sequel, nothing. And with it, within all of that, there is a huge amount of lore about the yeah. way it works. So it's a vampire movie. And it explains, without just outright saying it, it explains how the vampires work in the movie. Yeah. And it's... The ball can stop any time now. Any time. Um, and the, the, the main character who gets infected with vampirism... Spoiler alert, is cured of vampirism by going through uh, having a blood transfusion. Yeah. His old man finds him in a skeevy, skeevy motel room with the other vampires and says, you're coming home with me. Yeah. And on the way home, he's like, Dad, I'm really sick. I'm fucked up. I got it in the wrong crowd, you know? Yeah. Sticks his hand out the window. It starts catching on fire. Such easy effects, too, where they just, they'll be in the sun and they just have a blanket over them and they've been colored black and you can tell that they're just charring in the sun. Right. Fantastic use it's, of like a small budget to show a lot. Like you know he's gonna die if he stays out in the sun. You see just practical man on fire stunts as they're running to the car. It's right. all so satisfying to watch, and it's all yeah, like you said, in service of this script that is very clear the whole time. This is what's going on. This is where they need to get to, and this is how it's gonna resolve. Highly recommend it. So, and the best way to stream it is of course getting a subscription to Criterion or. Uh, fingers crossed you got a cool buddy it's honestly very difficult to stream you're not gonna see it pop up on Netflix or you know Peacock or whatever right uh, so I'm super happy that Criterion has it streaming right now and if nothing else fucking order it from their store and just have it on physical media you know you just buy it spend the money you just buy it because that's the world we have to get used to. That's how we're going to end this episode. Just warning people once again, buy physical media while you still can. It's going away. You're not, did you see that article about, it was from a video game developer. He was like, customers should get used to not owning their games. Like, yeah, that doesn't my, send a chill down your spine a little bit. You all know? my shit on Steam, it's not really mine. Yeah, they can pull the plug on that at any point. Steam went out of business. What about all my games I bought? Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could help. You fucking suck. So, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to, to not want to uh, pirate everything. I want creators to get money for the things that they do and be able to support themselves, you know. But at the same time, if you don't make things available, 
What am I supposed to do? And if you're anything like us, you probably suck too. Yeah. We all suck a little. We all suck a little. See ya. Thank you.